Wide rivers and vast forests are typical of the sparsely populated Republic of Komi in northwestern Russia. Winters here are long and cold. 3.5 million hectares of the Republic are forested. That's almost two-thirds of its surface. And at the heart of it lies the capital, Siktivkar. Jobs in this region are hard to come by. As in the Soviet period, many people work in the timber and paper industries, which are now run by the private sector. The timber companies have licenses to fell trees in specific areas. The climate researcher Svetlana Sagirova and her colleagues want to prevent industry from advancing into the nature reserves, which is something that they occasionally do. We are working to preserve biodiversity and above all to preserve our forests as an important absorber of gases harmful to our climate. A lot of forest areas are under protection, on paper. But policing in order to ensure that companies adhere to these regulations is another matter. The Komi forests are among Europe's last intact primeval forests. They store many millions of tons of carbon dioxide, and that makes them a crucial factor in the world's climate. Now financial assistance is coming in from abroad to protect them. As soon as the snow finally melts, the new carbon measuring equipment can be set up. The data should help preserve the forests. We have to find out precisely how much greenhouse gas and carbon dioxide a hectare of forest binds. And then we hope that, when allocating forest areas in the future, our government will realize that there's more money to be made with our clean air in the global trade in emissions. That would be more lucrative than cutting down trees and making money as a one-off. The people in the villages on the fringe of the forest are also worried about the future of the forest. They have nothing to do with the paper industry. Nor do they earn big money with wood. They need wood for building and for heating fuel. But the forests can easily replace what the farmers take from it. When some companies clear-cut the forests, nothing grows back. You can see an example right behind our village. I used to collect white mushrooms there. It was a good forest. I often took walks in it with my granddaughters or went berry picking. Now I don't even recognize it anymore. All that's left is a black slope. Legally, the timber industry is required to reforest land that it clears. But not all the companies do it sustainably, sometimes due to a lack of awareness and financial means. Svetlana Sagirova and her colleagues have planted a test area to find out what kinds of trees are especially suitable here. And above all, to find out which ones grow especially quickly. Currently about 10% of the clear-cut land in the Komi Republic is reforested. In the neighboring heavily forested Scandinavian countries, they replant 60%. We're still lagging behind. Today, Svetlana Sagirova is a guest here in the 7th grade biology class in the capital Siktivkar. Using her project, she wants to teach more people in Komi exactly where the forest reserves are. She also wants to teach them why the forest is so important. Most people here, especially adults, already know these things, but they need to be reminded of them again and again, especially in such economically difficult times, illegal logging becomes a temptation. Our city isn't particularly clean, and the forest purifies our air. We all gather mushrooms and berries in the forest, and I always enjoy walking there. 
Svetlana Sagirova also speaks with the pupils about the danger of forest fires. Everyone has painful memories of last year, when Russia's forests, including in Komi, were hard hit. This summer, too, could turn out to be as hot and dry as last summer. Foresters are already worried. Locals often aren't cautious enough with fire. But fires also repeatedly break out as a result of lightning storms. Once I witnessed it myself. Those are the two primary causes. When prevention fails, forest fires are hard to bring under control. Komi lacks adequate firefighting equipment. That's something the Protection Project wants to change, too. For example, where there are rivers, we'll add motorized rafts to our pool of conventional firefighting vehicles. The project to protect Komi's forests is just getting started. Climate researcher Svetlana Sagirova and her team hope that the project can contribute to preserving Komi's primeval forests for coming generations.